Hello, Adam Rayner, Talk Audio TV. You're looking at a couple of enormous subwoofers and a cluster of Maya sound loudspeakers. And I am in one heck of a privileged spot. This is the inside of the auditorium for the Michael Jackson One show by Cirque du Soleil here at the Mandalay Bay. And I've been given the most amazing access well, to the gentleman in charge of sound, this is Mr. Aaron Beck, who, like me, if anybody's phone goes off in their pocket, you get phone first, Aaron, don't you? <laughs> Usually, Unless yes. you know an Aaron or an Abraham, in my case, Adam, yes, so we get phone first, don't we? <laughs> yes. Now, um, we came and saw this show last year and were absolutely, completely blown away, my wife and I. And I've basically uh, swag permission to come and ask about the kit. So, Aaron, tell us, that diagram on the screen there, that is... Just sweep across this awesome desk here. This is a control for the show. This is the main audio equipment behind the proscenium arch for the show, is it not? Yes. Uh, we're looking at uh, Meyer Sound's RMS speaker monitoring system. Uh, and this tab specifically, we're looking at the main proscenium left and right loudspeakers, which are Meyer Sound's MICA uh, loudspeakers, along with some 1100 LFC low frequency. Uh, subwoofers that we use for left and right low frequency uh, reinforcement in the theater. Uh, you were saying that those subwoofers, when we were talking earlier, were one of the things that were suddenly upgraded when the governor heard them being demonstrated. So we have to have these. Yes, yes absolutely. Seriously potent. So that's what's behind the Pristini March. The stuff I was all zoomed in on just now was, um, well, the auditorium is bustling, bristling with, with other enclosures. Um, the uh, Four clusters of three are at the top of that, are the ones right by the stage, are they not? Yes. And then there's another couple of those 1100 woofers that are hanging up. Um, what are these enclosures? Because there's lots of them. The, uh... Uh, these are Meyer Sounds JM1P horizontal loud, uh, array loudspeakers. And uh, the sheer number of them means that every row is getting near field, are they not? Yes. Um, which means that the overall SPL in here is, is, as my mate Mick would say, able to crush. <laughs> <laughs> you do know each other if you're so yes. busy, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You can tell he's been mate. Yes. Um, but this is just the main audio scene. Show us the surround screen, Aaron, because there's lots on that. Yeah, we've got a total of 67 surround speakers. Oh, uh, uh, my goosebumps come up. Everything from uh, this is uh, almost every uh, series in Meyer Sound products. Uh, we've got MSL4s, we've got UPQs, we've got UPJs, we've got some older legacy MTS4A uh, loudspeakers pointing straight down. Uh, we've got some Melodies, we've got some M1Ds, uh, and even some Micas. One of the deals with the uh, triple cluster that I'm just zooming in on here is that they've got different throws, have they not? Yeah. So although they are, if I just lift up here and go after the wall, we're looking at, um, I'm not sure if my camera's going to see that, but the idea is that everybody gets near field intensity because there's one that's long throw and one that's a rather shorter throw. Yeah, Jonathan Deans, the sound designer, kind of likes to work in layers. Uh, so if you're in the middle of the theater, you're going to get a little of the MSL4 and a little bit of the UPQ uh, and a very even left to right surround image. Uh, if you're, say, in the left of the theater, you're going to hear this smaller box short throw UP, uh, UPJ along with an MSL4 from the other side so kind of wherever you're at left to right in the theater you get that very even uh, surround sound image. Which uh, is crucial to the whole sort of emotional involvement isn't yeah, it? Yeah just gives you that very uh, kind of close experience and we do the same type of thing with the rear surrounds so M uh, M1Ds in the back for short throw, and then a little bigger box melodies, and then some micas. So kind of front to back, get that same layer, yes. layered effect with surround there. And um, well, I've heard some other insights from other Cirque shows here in town um, that you were telling me about that uh, the technology that you had in common and, and that you didn't. But um, because of course this is proscenium arch production as against in the round, um, but. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, but the thing I'm almost most excited about, just uh, immediately to the side of your head there, just in shot slightly, is the back of these seats, because every single punter, as we'd say in UK, gets a little bit of individual treatment. There is an enclosure behind every single customer's head, Aaron? Yes. And uh, each seat, yes. 1804, has their own uh, custom left, center, right yes. uh, loudspeaker in the chairs. So... Uh, 
we're able to move sound directly, you know, right there in front of the listener uh, and create that very intimate experience with Michael's voice. This was just quite the thing that made me, I've just got to find out more about this system. I've been driving my poor wife insane, poor woman. She's a very patient lady. <laughs> And uh, that's a big piece of that um, fabulous glass smash sound for me, the, uh, the bit that really made me go, that was absolutely near field for everybody, it's amazing. Wow. So uh, that's one reason, <laughs> quite apart from the incredible layers of, of everything that Cirque du Soleil is, which has been reported on a thousand times by people better than me, but a big piece of the performance is the intensity and quality of that sound. The performer's getting straight through that. Lucky that who gets to tear us all apart with her guitar every night, you know, and stuff like that, which is just so, so cool. Thank you so, so much, Aaron. This is, uh, I'm so looking forward to this, I can't tell you. Um, just a huge thank you to uh, Maya Sound and all the people who have been involved in organising it. This, uh, yes, I'm just one very, very happy fat journalist from the UK ready to enjoy the show tonight. Mr. Beck, thank you so, so much. Thank just want to shake your hand for having one of the single coolest jobs <laughs> in the whole of Vegas, dude. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome.